It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Niners and the Rams, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kick off straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. This taken in right around the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Their first play from scrimmage is a pickup of 13. Plays like that will really help this offense settle in here on the road. And when you go on the road, you also have to deal with the fans as well. And when you have those types of runs, that'll settle them back into their seats. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now Purdy. The first catch of the game from George Kittle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. From the 46, here's second and a couple. Play action, now Purdy. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And Kittle going to have a 49ers first down as he'll get this down to the 47-yard line. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. So from Rams territory now, it's first and ten at the 47. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That's a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one yard gain. Purdy from the gun, looking for the out route. He's got it, complete to Kittle, and this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 26. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, that early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it would be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Purdy completes this one here to McCaffrey. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football. And they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play... And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. 
Uh, defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Second down, but this one is incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm is going forward. Incomplete pass. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Snuff in coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. And his kick is good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. And they will be let out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Throwing to start the drive. McCarthy. That's caught. Puka McCoy. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and nine. Back to throw. McCarthy. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Well, they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. Usually going to pick up a holding call. Looking to throw on second down. McCarthy connecting with Cup here on the out route. They'll give him four yards there. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. You know, in boxing, they throw in the towel. In this case, you just kind of wave the white flag, and you think to yourself, if he could just get past that initial wave, he's got a chance to get free. But that screen, it was going nowhere from the start. It forces a fourth down. 
And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded at the 20. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Purdy will set up to throw it here. This one caught by Kittle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. McCaffrey on the counter. And he is going to lose yardage here. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Shotgun now with Purdy. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and ten. Purdy. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to bring up second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well, like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. 
And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The field goal would have been a pretty decent length, but I'm still kind of surprised they didn't kick it. Yeah, I know, because you think you take the three there, trust him, but at the same time, if you can't pick up a few inches in this situation, you probably don't deserve to win the game anyway. Go get it, and they did. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And the 49ers are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Out of the gun, Purdy. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. Eight yards on the touchdown pass as his guys are able to extend their lead. What a great weapon. So often, such a big mismatch. And there's no route he can't run. You name it, he's going to do it. And he's a matchup nightmare for the defense. No matter who they put on him, he's going to win the battle. Jake Moody now for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint, down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. McCarthy. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down and six now from the 26. Off play action. McCarthy. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know we can't do a mind meld and really know exactly what he was thinking, but I didn't see an open receiver there. Maybe, possibly, he did that on purpose and just overthrown. Yeah, coverage was good, so maybe indeed that was a, another way to throw it away, if you will. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Off the play fake, McCarthy. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Here's Ethan Evans now. Let's take it on the 25. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. But Brock Purdy and the offense back out there. Last drive, surgeon-like, dare I say. Seven for seven. That'll help your QB rating. <laughs> it will indeed, won't it? Can you figure out QB rating? Can you do I, it? Can no, you do the formula? No, I just know the higher the number, the better. Yeah, that's what I've been told, <laughs> that's what too. I know. I know that in the NFL, 158.3 is the number they're all trying to get to. I think he was that on that last drive. This is Samuel. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. The tackle there by John Johnson. 
Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Now a second and six. Back to throw, Purdy. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one goes for 24 yards. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. Purdy now to throw. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. 15 yards there for number 15. And not all spectacular catches are the result of a pass that maybe was not thrown quite right. Sometimes it's thrown in the perfect spot, and you have to just go get it. And he did that right there. No fear there in the middle of the field. On first down, Purdy. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Aaron Donald able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. The throwing here, Purdy. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. From the seven, it's second and five. Here's Purdy. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Touchdown! Christian McCaffrey from eight yards out. And the 49ers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. The extra point try now for Moody. He's got it, and it's 17 0. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off by a receiving touchdown from Christian McCaffrey.
So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Well, the Rams going to take over late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. On first and ten, McCarthy caught left side, Williams. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The Rams are going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. They'll get this one to Cup complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Looking to throw. McCarthy. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. Now he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Simple drag route here. Lined up he out left and trying to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Second down and three, ball on the seven. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Back to throw again. To the right side, incomplete to Atwell. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. The kick by Marr is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report.
Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, the highlights Coach are fairly one-sided to this point. Gang it's Orlando a two-touchdown difference here at the break. But I wouldn't call this three. one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. Seventeen three, the score as we resume action for the second half on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone, and he'll get it up past the twenty to about the twenty-two. The Rams' offense ready to begin quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Diamondo Lamore. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now. Where they're thinking about ways to close this game out and as confidently as they've been playing I expect them to do exactly that now Moody for the PAT And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken at the goal line. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. And the Rams now coming out on the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Throwing after the interception. McCarthy, short throw, it's Higby. It'll be a gain of five. 
And it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now second and five. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. On third down, McCarthy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Throwing on first down, McCarthy. And he's going to drop this off to Williams, complete. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and that will bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Pass complete there to Nakua. Touchdown, L.A. Puka Nakua, 53 yards. And the Rams get a bit closer. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that cuts the lead to 24-10. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. the roughing penalty on the PAT. They'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Niners set to take over on offense. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll get this complete to Charlie Warner. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive, 13 yards, picking up the first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Here's second and 10. Purdy will set up to throw it here. 
He's got this complete to Ayuk on the out route. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, it's Purdy. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and ten. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second and ten. Back to throw. McCarthy. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. McCarthy. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. So they go with the empty set, and that's the risk you run right there. Nobody was there to protect. Well, you know how most offenses have audibles, and they've changed plays when they see certain sets? A lot of defenses do the exact same thing. You go to an empty back set, they bring pressure. And boy, did it pay off in this case. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. And we'll see what he can do on the return. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. from the gun on the throw led him too much that time it's incomplete not his best throw there but where we sit right now in the third quarter he's had a pretty good game throwing the football he certainly has and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four minute offense yet but they've got to think about I'm not gonna say milking the clock but understanding clock management here on out back to the air on second down Purdy He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. But well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Here's second and three. Here's Samuel. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Oh. 
They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. McCaffrey following the penalty. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Third down and 13. Purdy looking to throw. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and 10. Now a give right side McCaffrey. Gets by him at the 25. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. This is Jennings. And he's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Purdy now to throw. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. The Niners on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and nine. Shotgun now with Purdy. And now another one thrown incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is indeed good, and that will extend their lead even further. So when you factor in the safety, this now a five-point swing. And look, I'm not going to turn away a five-point swing because five points, that's valuable. Don't get me wrong on this. But if they could have taken that safety and added seven to it, now you're talking about a really big swing. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. Okay, 
On first down, McCarthy. And his throw is going to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw. McCarthy. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Nick Bosa in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense, he hadn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense, I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He okay. needs better protection, that's for sure. Here comes the Rams punter now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. On first down, Purdy. Hauled in left side here by Jennings. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Two yards to go, second down. Now Purdy. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jawan Jennings that time, and it's third down and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, it's Purdy. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And the Niners are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. A 
throwing here. Purdy. And his throw here is incomplete. And the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. This is caught, and they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Three tight ends up front here, third and goal. McCaffrey is in. Touchdown, 49ers. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. The extra point try now for Moody. And that will bump the lead up to 26. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Now a hit and a loose football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, yeah. tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. McCaffrey running up the middle. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. 67 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. And the pressure gets to McCaffrey as they stop him short of the line to gain. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. You have to figure with this offense on second and inches, they're in ideal shape, but then they end up getting an incompletion, a run stuffed on third and inches, and you look around and say, how'd it become fourth down? This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Purdy bootlegging it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a 49ers first down, it would appear. Yes, he does by a full yard. They get the conversion on fourth and two. This is McCaffrey on the give. 
This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead. First down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. So the victory here for San Francisco, and we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted.